Going back to Salt Lake City, number four, Kansas. Four-seeded Kansas taking on uh, Samford on Thursday. 13-seeded Samford. My numbers make this around Kansas minus nine, assuming McCuller is in the lineup. Eric, you have this closer to Kansas minus 10, but Derek, you're looking at the dog here, right? Yeah, I am. And, you know, so many people are looking to fade Kansas in the tournament. Uh, you know, when I first opened up a sportsbook app, I looked and I saw a nine and a half and I went to shop it. And then I went back to that sportsbook and the nine and a half was gone. It was down to eight and a half already. So I just grabbed the eight and a half while I could. Um, you know, Sanford, can you, they, really what? quickly, Derek, can you speak to the and we could all touch on this, but since you brought up the example, can you speak to the importance of price shopping, especially this time of the year where the market is going to move within a matter of seconds when Sharp Mighty comes down on a dog? Yeah, it's it. you have to be quick to it. And that's what, you know, that's what makes it important to get the best number you can. If you think a number is going to move towards a dog, you know, if you think a dog is going to get bet, you should probably bet it right away. But then if you are leaning towards the favorite and you think that money's going to come in on the dog, you probably can wait a little bit and get a better number on, you know, um, Kansas. If you really want to lay it with Kansas, I'm not laying it with Kansas, but you can wait and get a better number for Kansas after everyone comes in on Sanford. So it's all about timing and trying to get the best number. And, you know, I kind of missed out on that nine and a half, but I grabbed the eight and a half while I could. So, um, you just got price shop and have, you know, all the apps that you can and, you know, try and get the best number you can. So what do you make of this game? Why do you like Sanford? So Sanford, they, they press a lot. They will come out and press uh, Kansas right off the rip. And that's just, that's going to be a problem for Kansas. They struggled against Iowa State. They struggled against Houston in the Big 12 when they, you know, when they have to deal with these high pressure defenses. And, uh, you know, Kansas's lack of depth is concerning to everyone. Uh, you know, they rank eight, 318th in bench minutes. And, you know, Hunter Dickinson, McCuller, Bill Self said they're going to play in the tournament. We'll see. I don't know if they're going to get both of them. I think they'll get one. I don't know if Dickinson's going to play. But, uh, you know, Sanford, they shoot a lot of threes, too. Almost 25 a game, which ranks in the top 65 in the country. Uh, then you have Kansas. They allow a ton of clean looks from the perimeter. They rank 193rd per shot quality in open three rates. So I think Sanford can kind of keep this game close, especially if they press and turn Kansas over. Kansas just has not dealt with that very well this year. So, um, and then Sanford, they play at a fast tempo too. So if they, if they're running down the floor against Kansas, who does not have depth, it's just going to be a struggle for Kansas to cover this number, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll be looking towards Sanford and, you know, if McCuller or Dickinson are out, they're going to rely on Johnny Furphy a lot. And he, he kind of hit a freshman wall this year. Uh, everyone does. Um, but they're going to rely on him a lot against this team. And I don't know if he's going to be able to come through and cover, help cover a number like this. So I, I grabbed the eight and a half while I could. Um, so, yeah. And just to bounce off of what you were saying injury wise for the Jayhawks, McCuller has not been cleared to practice yet. Bill Self didn't offer much more on his status. Obviously he missed Kansas's lone game in the big 12 tournament, a loss to Cincinnati and Hunter Dickinson though is practicing with that shoulder injury, the dislocated shoulder that he sh suffered against Houston in their regular season finale. You mentioned Kansas's susceptibility against opponents' three-point attempts. They're allowing a top 70 three-point scoring rate across college basketball. That has a lot to do with Dickinson in drop coverage. But Sanford doesn't have a lot of size to combat Dickinson. And then you mentioned Sanford and their press against Kansas – I think Harris's ball pressure could be a little bit of an issue for Rylan Jones, who is experienced at the Division I level. He played at Utah before he transferred to Sanford, but still 17% turnover rate. I don't love that against Harris. I don't hate the bet. I just would maybe need a point, point and a half more to take Sanford. This is maybe an example of a line to me that isn't what it would have been five or 10 years ago, but I don't blame you for taking Sanford, especially if McCuller doesn't go. Eric, what do you make of this game? The final one we discuss on Thursday. 
Yeah, Kansas nine, uh, Kansas by nine and a half over under of one fifty six, and it's uh, standard uh, of sm- the, the 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 Rick Bird fingerprint of offense. The team that completely avoids the mid range shot. These guys launch a lot of threes, but they will try to get the ball inside as well. They're seventy fifth um, in the country and. Um, percentage of near proximity attempts, 65th in three point attempts when it comes to the, the percentage. But then when it talks to the mid range, 340th. So they're going to avoid the mid range game at all costs. Um, as we mentioned, Samford will run. I have them ninth in the country in pace. They make a ton of threes. They're 19th in the country in adjusted three point percentage. We talked about the turnovers, 14th in the country in potential points off of sec, uh, off of steals. But the problem is, again, is going to be the size issue. Very few second chance, the second ch- second chances, the second chance metrics do not reflect well. So those shots really do have to be falling against Kansas. But in their in their favor, Kansas's defensive three point attempt rate three hundredth in the country. So even though they do fairly decent in defensive three point percentage, the the more glaring number is the fact that they allow so many threes against the opposition. They're going to have to change their philosophy a little bit against this team. And we've seen sometimes these bigger teams like Kansas all of a sudden play the smaller, quicker teams and have a boatload of trouble with it. I always think back to UMBC in Virginia. Virginia was not terribly huge, but that young, quicker team, those teams that come out of a team like the so- the SoCon can really give problems for a team like Kansas. So Kansas might have to change their strategy a little bit here, and that might not reap dividends. Derek, by the way, did you throw this Sanford bat into our Discord channel yet? Uh, I may have forgotten to. Uh, <laughs> you know, I should probably do that. Uh, you know, there's still seven and a halfs out there. there it, it's as low as seven, though, in one spot. So it's almost getting to a number where, like, you can't bet it anymore because everyone has just jumped and ran and bet Sanford. So because everyone wants to fade Kansas right now. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's getting to a point where you almost can't bet Sanford now. So, or if you want to bet Kansas, you can bet Kansas. So, right. The only reason why I brought that up was not to call you out. Was just to say that if you want to find our bets first round wise for the NCAA tournament, you could do so in our Discord channel. The link is over at thelines.com in the top right hand corner. Derek has, you know, he's one of the sharper betters I know when it comes to college basketball, and he's going to be throwing all of his bets when. They are the number he likes in our Discord channel, of course, over at thelines.com. And you can compare them to Eric's projected numbers over at haslametrics.com, along with all all the other tools that he mentioned off the top. Uh, Kansas is going to be a team that, whether they make it past Sanford, we all think they're vulnerable in the tournament. just depends on when you want to bet against them or fade them. But I don't. I think Derek is in the wrong for taking Sanford, especially at a bigger number where this one opened up. 